back for fun. Mm. Unworthy. This should do it. Why did you come here? Look how our quiet priest is talking. Like it's not us who came to ask for an answer for his treason, but he is. There is no answer for what I did. I shall carry this weight until the end of my life. Perhaps... Perhaps there is still a chance to change one last thing. No. I'm only lying to myself. Forgive me. Please forgive me. You cannot stand against me. Should be. This will hurt. Never had a chance. Let's try this. This will hurt. More strength. My strength betrays me. I know what to do. We should get her off then. Ready for anything? Together we are on In due time. My strength betrays me. I see something. A buzz, please. A trivial matter. All according to... How curious. Anything else? What a surprise. Applause, please. It should be. Would you look at that? Applause, please. Are you prepared to make a word for you? Anything else? 
What's that thing? Applause, please. This requires your attention. It's just not my lucky day. Would you look at that? Applause, please. Follow my lead. How curious. Anything else? I see something. Applause, please. What a surprise. All according to plan. Applause, please. In due time. My search was not How in vain. How curious. Enemy approaching. Oh, I don't yeah. like surprises. My strength fades. Anything else? Ready for anything. Who will prevail? Does it matter? My strength retreats me. Let's see what they're made of. Would you look at that? As it should be. What is this? I yearn for entertainment. Oh, this awaits us. Request. Magnesium Turinos. Magnesium Turinos. Sashani Savitur. That is not far. I don't like surprises. Applause, please. In due time. All according to plan. I see something. I failed. I I'm sorry. Applause, please. An expected result. Follow my lead. <gasps> my search was not in vain. Submit! Die for me, huh? That is not far. I see something. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. 
to everywhere I go. The pool hangs over everything. Don't people say it's better before I go. Share your will. Focus on the goal. Don't you think? You cannot stand against me. me. This is where I step in. More strength, fate. Or did it fuck to what of it? Anything else? What a surprise. Time's not working. Well. All according to plan. Do all serves you right. How curious. Applause, please. I failed. I'm sorry. It's just not my lucky day. Anything else? Would you look at that? Applause, please. Think. Pathetic creature. Tell me, is there any reason I should not torture you for your apostasy? What happened to you, my Skylark? Your heart couldn't bear my anger. So be it. I was bored with your songs anyway. Perhaps the snapping of your bones shall entertain me. We have guests. A hound following my Skylark's trail. You have done well. You've uncovered my old sanctuary. But it is one I shall never return to again. So... Now that you are here, what do you intend to do? You're trying so hard to glimpse into my soul. Are you not afraid of what you might find? Very well, have it your way, Hound. I'll share a little part of my darkness and my pain with you. I'll share with you my name. I am Nyrissa. An ancient power awakened in the mountains. A power capable of revealing that which was taken from me. By my order, the sisters scoured the land for the Oculus. My wolf cub sent his barbarians to help them. But you outpaced all my servants. All but one. When a seed falls upon fertile ground, it bears fruit for the landowner to harvest. The seed of betrayal grew strong, and I reaped its fruits. Oh, and Saren Ray's messenger was a great servant, wasn't he? Deformed by reflection in a thousand mirrors, fallen into shadows born of his own light, a righteous diva with blood-stained hands. What is it? Do I really see a surprised expression on your face? <laughs> Can it be you still don't understand? Tristian was the proud servant of Saren Ray herself, a personification of kindness and mercy. After I caught him in my nets, I couldn't resist the urge to take his wings, so that he might sing for me and me alone. As he followed you, he spoke with me in his dreams, his true mistress. Now he's done as I asked, I could let him go, 
But I don't like to share my toys, even if they are broken. Now, we both know the Skylark belongs to me. Just as a butterfly belongs to the day it's born, and the day it's destined to die. You dare challenge your mistress. The one who has shown the way to hundreds, thousands of creatures such as you. Filthy beasts who don't even know the face of their queen. You are my faithful hound, and Tristian is my silver-tongued Skylark. Both of you serve my will, so how should I call you if not by your true names? Stop me. Do not think yourself my equal. Your interference has slowed me for a time, that is all. I shall find my heart's desire and find my purpose again. Even the loss of the Oculus can't stop me. Your world is but a shadow of my home plane. I am the first and forever queen of these lands. And this sanctuary is where whispers of the past live. And where I planted the seeds of the future. Here, I raised a wolf cub, who eventually became the feared leader of Numeria. I watched him rise to power, butchering any who stood against him. And from this place, I shall hear of his fall. The last howl of a dying animal. Now, a hound comes to replace the wolf cub. Should I crush your skull and watch your life bleed from your body? Perhaps. But wouldn't it be more fun to observe whom you chase next? Whatever you choose, you'd be serving me. Like the Skylar. Like the Wolf Cup. Like all who place their trust in the illusion of freedom. You've seen nothing, and you know nothing. My past is a fire that blinds those who stare. I've left it behind and accepted the fate that was designed for me. I... Farewell, my faithful hound. Someone will take care of you. It was you. You robbed my sister of hope. You prolonged her suffering and our suffering as well. For that, you'll die. An emissary from the First World. A servant to the power that came to these swamps against her will. My duty is a heavy one, but I bear it without faltering. I shall not bow. Not before destiny, not before my enemies, and not before creatures such as you. I won't do that. Besides, why would you need someone who'd lie to you every step of the way, concealing his true goals and his true self? Look at him. Did you know he was once one of my kind, a creature from the Outer Plains? Now all that remains of the sacred servant of Saren Ray is a husk. And maybe we should really leave him to this faceless carry-on. Why do we need a traitor and a wuss on a team? Maybe just tie him up, throw him to the monsters as bait. Save your breath. This Skylark has broken his wings, and now he's useless. I'll rid myself of him after I've finished with you. She left. Where and why is not your concern. I remained only to remove any trace of her and her servants left behind. You see, these lands were our home long before you appeared. These walls witnessed another mortal who, like you, serves Norissa's goals now. We taught him. We showed him the way. We told him what to believe, and whom to serve. My elder sister, Nyrissa. She is the mistress of half-truths, exploiting hopes and weaknesses of others with her words. All it took to control Armog was some books and legends about his great destiny. All it took to control Tristian was deceiving him into thinking it was Nyrissa who deprived him of his holy gift. She who cursed him with a mortal body. 
<gasps> lies. So that was all lies? And all it took to control you, upstart Baron, was a lure. The promise of your own lands to rule. And you bought it. All of you. Enough. You are a thing of the past, and I must rid this place of you and Tristian. Get ready for oblivion! I propose I need inspiration. Let us strike as one! Fear me! Repent! Despair! <laughs> <laughs> of lies and deception. Our meeting wasn't a coincidence. It was Nyrissa who sent me to the Temple of the Elk. She conjured that fog, then sent Jod a version of the place. Since then, I've been watching you, waiting for a time to act for Nyrissa. But that's... that's not all. I helped her create and plant the unwilting flower that almost destroyed your barony. As you can see, Everything that happened in Vordekai's tomb was but one of my many crimes. That is all. Deal with me however you think best. I am a Deva. Once a sacred servant and messenger of Serenre herself. Once it was my calling to heed mortals' prayers and to deliver them to other servants of the goddess. That was before I fell into a trap set by Nyrissa. She took from me my powers, and severed my bond with my goddess. At least, that's what I had thought. Nyrissa threatened that if I didn't serve her, she'd never return my wings, and I'd never speak to Serenre again. She made me... She... I'm lying to you again. If it wasn't for my cowardice, Nyrissa would never have broken me to her will. But I... I was afraid to remain mortal. A slave, if he has at least some bravery, will make every effort to escape. And this one, a witch wagged a finger at him and he went in and did what she said, and betrayed his friends too. Ugh. And I was very wrong about you, Tristian. I just can't decide whether I should begin to respect you as a mighty creature from other spheres, or despise you thrice as hard because you managed to lose even this divine power of yours. A nymph. One of the most beautiful of all creatures. Most wicked of all monsters. But who she is, what she wants, I do not know. I ran across her while traveling through the negative energy plane. A strange wound, like something had pierced time and space. In my pride, confident in my powers, I followed its path to this world. She dealt with me in a heartbeat. Before I could flee, she had entrapped me, filling my mind with horrible nightmares. And when I awoke, I was mortal. I... I had no choice. No choice at all. Nyrissa discovered an ancient power awakening beneath the tours of Lebanese. She knew of Vordekai, and she also knew of the Oculus. What she did not know is the location of his tomb. 
the defaced sisters and the Numerian barbarians serving them were dispatched to search for the tomb's entrance. But you found it first, and you would have acquired the Oculus if it were not for me. I don't know. After I failed her, after I failed to destroy you, she became angry with me. The only way to regain her favor was to find the Oculus of Abaddon and bring it to her. I don't know why she wants it, only that she will destroy anything in her path to possess it, including you. I beg you, be careful. She never forgets any who dare challenge her. When I awaked from Nyrissa's enchantments, I was mortal, no longer a deva. Nyrissa said she had taken my gift of immortality and severed my bond with my goddess. But, according to what the sister said, I don't understand what's true anymore and what is not. Before this, I thought Nyrissa stood between me and Saren Ray. But it seems like... It seems like she was lying. I begin to admire this nymph. This was Nyrissa's creation. A strange plant with seeds that bring death to the mortals and open gates to the first world. I don't know much else. All I've done was use my knowledge of the plains to root the flower in two worlds simultaneously. <laughs> what Nyrissa did was deplorable. But I am not blameless. Seren Ray as my witness. I didn't want it to happen as it did. But in my fear of losing her divine light, my resolve crumbled. So I did what I was ordered to do. Partly, Nyrissa charmed the first faithful, promised him and all his followers a paradise in exchange for your head. My job was to lure you to the trap. But Nyrissa, ordered me only to lure you to the trap. She never forbade me to protect you. That's why I fought by your side in that battle. <sighs> only you can decide, but I'd never be able to trust a traitor. Never. Thank you. I'll leave you and head for the city. A walk will help me to figure out how I can make amends for... for everything. Our strength fades. My strength fades. Oh, I don't like surprises. That is not far. Time's not waiting. Focus on the goal. In due time. Approaching.
All according to plan. I think it would be nice, don't you think? My strength betrayed. that. I need a challenge.
let's go. Forget it. Smells like blood. Yes, blood. Who dare shed blood here without first calling Armag? The six bears crawled to Armag on their bellies, begging for his protection. And this is how they repay the Tiger Lord's hospitality? The girl killed the sister. Armag demands Payment in blood. So be it. Armag and the girl will fight before the eyes of Gorum, like in ancient times. One on one. Everyone, gather now. Draw the circle so we may fight. Blood for blood. Blood for Gorum! Continue the battle. Armag must leave. No one dares object. It's important. The most important thing in the world. Ah! 
All the cool stuff. Let's see if we can epic pose. Like this <laughs> In due time. Dead. Everyone is dead. Where have you been? No, it doesn't matter. Don't bother answering. I've no interest in your excuses. You're late, and it's all over. My army's been destroyed, and the way to rest off is unprotected. Your reinforcements won't make any difference now. How should I know? Probably picked them up as children in Numeria and raised them to fight. Giants are dangerous enough on their own, but under the command of an experienced warlord. Should I thank you for that? What good is a commander with no army? Now I'll just die a few days later, attempting to defend Rostov proper from these barbarians. So great. Thanks. Do you even comprehend what this means? We were double-crossed. All this, all these deaths, all for nothing. I'll find the ones responsible. Hunt them to the ends of Golarion if I have to. And if it turns out the Sertovas were behind it all, gods help them. Follow through on your agreement with the barbarians. Go to their main camp, it's not far. In the meantime, I'll try to save whatever remains of my army. Go. Too much blood's been shed this day. But perhaps we can still save someone. As it should be. As Are you prepared to make my end? Are you? In due time. Our victory is certain. You deserve it. That is not far. Time for fire. All according to plan. In due time.
please. Here's to our savior. The barbarians are routed. Congratulations on your glorious victory. Yes, a truly heroic deed. Believe me, I won't forget it. What was it that kept you then? That's enough. This is no time to argue. We won. That's the important thing. Today, the Baron proved himself not just a capable general, but also a wise ruler. I would even go so far as to say this man has shown wisdom beyond his station. Not just that of a Baron, but that of a true king. Am I hearing you right? Are you ready to acknowledge him as your equal? Well, as your equal at least, Sword Lord. So, what do you say? Can you bear the burden of the crown? I suppose that would be best for us all. I'm inclined to agree. You're taking on a heavy burden, but you've already proven yourself a highly capable person. Well, it's time I return to what's left of my army. I wish you luck, Your Highness. There's an old proverb in our lands. Before giving orders, one must learn to take them. You've proven quite adept at the former. Let's see how you do at the latter. Congratulations, Your Highness. Your prior actions proved you capable of seizing power. But today is the day you proved yourself able to keep it. Go ahead and order the ceremonial vestments for your coronation. And while they're being prepared, you should finish what you started. Find the barbarian chieftain and expel the barbarians from your lands. Establish peace in the region and take steps to ensure no magical beasts randomly appear within your lands again. Well, let me bid you farewell for now. We'll meet again at the celebration of your long-awaited and quite well-deserved coronation. In due time, Right higher. My strength betrays me. 